Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see the T SQL features that have been introduced in SQL Server 2022. There are four new functions are being introduced. One string function and two logical function and uh, one date function. And the string function is string split. Okay. And we are going to see each one of the function. And string split is a function. And uh, the function, how it works is, if so, it accepts three parameters. Okay, the first parameter is the string, and second parameter is the separator. Okay, so now I'm going. I've given the space as the separator. Third is an optional. I will explain what is third function, third parameter. And now when I execute, it splits them into words, and it gives in a row format. Okay, as separate records. So that's how it works. It takes one big string and sentence, and then uh, based on the separator that we give, it separates them into separate uh, records and it gives it as a list of records. So the third parameter is ordinal. So basically, it gives the number also. So along with the value value of the uh, each character so each string it also gives the position of the string okay one two three four five which position the string so this will be very helpful actually okay and i am going to show you how right now we have seen as a static string i am going to show you how this can be used uh, along with the string uh, data type uh, column of a table okay for that purpose i have created a table called uh, uh, product family with a family and product both are string and i'm inserting a record first column value is microsoft data platform okay and i've given all the products of microsoft with a comma separated okay and now i've inserted created the table and inserted the records we are going to see this select star when i put select star it gives two columns okay and we are going to see how this function can be used to split the these strings into separate records okay using the function for that we have to write select statement and the first column of this table and the two columns of the these strings output so if you if you had noticed this particular string if this function when executed it returned as a value and ordinal right so these are the two columns so that's what i'm using it here and I am joining this table with the cross apply function. Okay, so I am giving the same um, uh, parameters, and but this time I am giving a comma separated. Okay, so based on this, it gives family value and ordinal. So this is how that we get the data. So this can be used in join, this can be used in var condition, and so on. So this is like a table data, right? So it's a kind of unpivoted. Uh, kind of functionality but this is for a string okay so now we can use these columns to apply them in a where condition also you see i i'm just uh, check i i want to filter what is the fifth ordinal position of of the uh, string right so i'm just getting power bi so with this i think we can use this uh, string function we will be able to uh, do a lot of string uh, powerful string operation with the ease of you know just a, uh, one piece of uh, code previously we have to write a uh, uh, you know separate a uh, function to separate the records separate the words from a string but now with with a single function we will be able to get not only that and that we can use that as a the results that we can use it as a table like a table right so this is the first function and the second and third functions are straightforward they are logical function one is the greatest so greatest accept multiple parameter right so we can keep giving the set of numbers and among the given number it is going to give us what is greatest number okay and the next function is going to give us what is the least number among the set of numbers that we have so these two are pretty straightforward and self-explanatory it's not it, it also works for characters okay so alphabetically it sorts and it gives us what is a maximum value and what is the least value it works for multiple character also that's why 
I have just given a is a ds some number random number just to show it it is not just work with one character it works for strings also okay so this is a also these are the two cool features have been introduced and the last one we are going to see is date function new date function called date trunk so what it is going to do it is it is going to truncate to the it is going to truncate the input uh, date to the, uh, the to the required for example here the required one i've given as a year so what it is going to it is going to truncate to the year 2022 so it is going to truncate the month part date part everything so it's going to only consider the starting position right starting position of that particular date similarly we can get the starting date of the quarter it is going to truncate the month and date portion so for uh, august 22nd it gives us july 1st right that is a, a calendar uh, calendar wise right so calendar wise if you see calendar year it is for the june to july to uh, september quarters first day okay it is giving the date first date and the trunk day trunk works for week it will give us a week start day and also it works for minutes and uh, the time portion so right now i am just trying to fetch for hours so it is truncating the minutes and uh, seconds it is fetching the 19 hour similarly i can do for minutes and even for seconds milliseconds i can do so this is also an interesting uh, um, function that is going to help us in some uh, important use cases so with that no i uh, I'm coming to the end of the, the I'm coming to the end of the session and we have seen these four new functions uh, that are being introduced in T-SQL in SQL Server 2022. Hope this is useful and uh, interesting. Um, if In case if you are looking forward to hear more about SQL Server and uh, SQL uh, interview questions and SQL project ideas, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.